Yeah. Al- alam mo yung pagcore, pinagloloko nyo kami, to be honest about it. Eh. That's why we're all in this in this problem. Hindi nyo ginagawa yung trabaho ninyo eh. You said twice a week nyo inspect Pero hanggang ngayon, wala pa rin government offices. Si Sun Valley, how many times did you inspect? It's the same, sir. Twice a week nyo inspect pero yes, may 1,100 human traffic victims doon? Yes, sir. Anong klaseng uh, inspection ginawa nyo? Uh, apparently, sir, there was uh, some uh, some problem with our uh, monitoring team, sir. Uh, What's a problem with your monitoring medyo, team? Uh, ito din. Nakorap. Twice a week kayo nag inspect Yes, sir. Pero meron 1,160 plus human traffic there. Paano nangyari yun? Can you explain to us paano nangyari yun, PAGCOR? Uh, um, and why we should not abolish PAGCOR? To be honest about it, this brings international shame to us. The Philippines is becoming a scam hub. Hindi Pogo hub, a scam hub. Pogo being used as front for scams. Pogo's being used as front for human trafficking. Because PAGCOR is corrupt and not doing its job. That's the bottom line. Pinagloloko nyo kami. In these two accredited Pogo Hub that you um, mentioned, are there government offices inside the premises already? None, sir. So wala. Is that a violation of the contract between PAGCOR? Yes, sir. It's a violation. So kung walang government offices doon, they violate the Pogo Hub contract with PAGCOR? Yes, sir. Okay. E dalawa, wasabi mo, wala. So what happens next? Actually, sir, the Sun Valley Clark Hub Corporation accreditation was already cancelled. Uh, with regard to the first Orient, sir, uh, we are already conducting investigation on the project implementation plan on how do they, um, on the timeline that they have given us to coordinate with the agencies to locate in their uh, in their area, sir. So have they violated the timeline? Sir, we have yet to um, conduct, the, to finish the investigation, sir, with regard when to the When was the contract Orient. consummated? Uh, in, the accreditation was given in 2019, sir. In 2019? Yes. Ano na ngayon? 20... Yes, sir. So the accreditation that we have actually given them is just provisional. So the accreditation will only become um, regular or it will just not be provisional if they have already complied with all of the requirements provided under the offshore, ga offshore gaming regulatory. Yeah, but regulatory. it's ready for years. And since Sherwin, I noted in their slide, the provisional accreditation is still 2029. So hindi naman sana maghihintay ng anim na taon pa bago makumpleto, Sen. Sherwin. I agree, Mr. Chair. So, kayo nagbigay ng contract, kayo nag-specify na dapat may government agency, pero hindi niyo in-enforce. 2019 pa ito eh. Tama? Yes, Mr. Chair. Ba't niyo in-enforce? Actually, sir, uh, we are already following up the implementation yeah, the, 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 the of this. Up, obviously, the following up is nothing. No, it's ending up nothing. But I mean, it's nothing. Nothing is happening. Correct. I mean, you've been following up since two thousand nineteen. It's already four years, so it's going nowhere. So, wala bang wala ba kayong drastic action na gagawin? Mr. Chair, dito po sa First Orient, uh, mapagbalik ko po, gagawa na po ka ng drastic action para po mapwersa po natin sila na magkaso. How many times have you inspected si San Valley and si, uh, what's the name of the other one? First Orient. First Mr. Orient. Uh, Mr. Chair, may I refer you to our monitoring team, sir? Uh -huh. When's, how many times do you inspect that? Uh, uh, we inspect it, sir. Uh, sir, sorry, you I, are attorney. I, uh, I am uh, uh, general. I'm sorry, general. No, I said, uh, uh, senior Vice President for Monitoring and and uh, for Security and Monitoring Cluster of Pagcor. It's a new officer. Uh, we inspect the, the place uh, twice a week, sir. Unahin muna natin si First Orient. How many times do you inspect the place? Uh, it's what included, in, your rule, in your guidelines, how many times do you have to inspect the place? 
we have to inspect it to, twice a week, sir. Twice a week. Because we have very limited personnel. And, uh, yeah, but you only have two Pogo hubs. Yes, sir. So you don't have to monitor so yes. many things, sir. Yes, sir. Only two Pogo hubs. So how many times in your regulation, uh, how many times do you need to inspect? Twice a week. Twice a week, sir. So itong si First Orient, since 2019, twice a week nyo dapat ini-inspect? Yes, sir. Nasaan na mga government offices? And, sir. Kung twice a week nyo ini-inspect yes, siya. Al alam niyo yung PAGCOR, pinagloloko niyo kami, to be honest about it. Eh. That's why we're all in this in this problem. Hindi niyo ginagawa yung trabaho ninyo eh. You said twice a week niyo inspect Pero hanggang ngayon, wala pa rin government offices. Si Sun Valley, how many times did you inspect? It's the same, sir. Twice a week you inspect, pero yes, may 1,100 human traffic victims doon? Yes, sir. Anong klaseng uh, inspection ginawa niyo? Uh, apparently, sir, there was uh, some uh, some problem with our uh, monitoring team, sir. Uh, What's the problem with your monitoring medyo, team? Uh, ito din. Nakorap. Kulang din ng ano to, to, sir. Mga... Nabulag sila. Uh, the last time that it was inspected sir, before the raid, it was last uh, April But 28. you said twice a week you need to inspect. Yes, there are only two Pogo hubs in the whole Philippines. Yes, ah, and you need to inspect it twice. Yes. Sir. So, paano nangyari itong 1,100 plus human traffic victims nakalampas sa inspectors ninyo? Uh, palagay ko, sir, kasi very sophisticated na rin itong mga syndicates ngayon, sir. Paano magiging sophisticated? The, the buildings are there, identified ng CDC yes, buildings. Pag pumunta kayo doon, what type of inspection do you do? You do? Yes, You're pag -gore. Usually, sir, ang ini-inspect at sinilat, sir, yung dun sa dalawang building lang, sir, one, one and two. And then, actually, we require them to report the report their inspection and take some pictures, sir. May mga pictures tayo yeah, dun, sir. Said, okay, when did, when did itong Sun Valley, when was it accredited? By Pagcor? 2019. January 15, 2019. Saka, Senator may problem ang monitoring ng Pagcor, may problem ang monitoring ng CDC. So, saan tayo pupulutin magiging trafficking haven na lang? No? So, ano yes, na sir. po? Senator Win. Uh, January 15, 2019, sir. January 15, 2019 rin. Twice a week kayo nag inspect Yes, sir. Pero meron 1,160 plus human traffic there. Paano nangyari yun? Can you explain to us paano nangyari yun, PAGCOR? Uh, um, And why we should not abolish PAGCOR? Uh, actually, sir, uh, the, the latest inspection, sir, was April 28th. So, April 28 of 2023. Okay. Before the raid, sir. Oh. And uh, during the inspection, wala naman sila nakita, sir, na irregularities at that time. Pa pa so, Paano kasi, nangyari? Yung police may nakita, yung CDC may yes, nakita, yung PAGCOR na nagbigay ng lisensya, walang nakita. Yes, sir. Obviously, nakorap yung mga inspectors nyo. Yes, sir. Obviously, kayo hindi nyo rin ginagawa trabaho ninyo because in your regulation... Government offices should be there. Kasali ba dyan dapat Bureau of Immigration? Sa required offices? Actually, sir, upon verification, there's no specified agency, but it should have partner government and law enforcement agencies. Ano, ano? Can you repeat that? Partner government and law enforcement okay. agencies. Is the PNP, attorney, answer this. Is the PNP a law enforcement agency? Yes, Mr. Chair. Is the BI a law enforcement agency? Yes, Mr. Chair. Should they be inside the Pogo Hub? Yes, Mr. Chair. And ba sila? Wala po, Mr. Chair. Since 2019? Yes, Mr. Chair. Kung nandun ang PNP and BI, will this human trafficking incident happen? There is a very low possibility that this will happen. Since you didn't enforce your own regulation, Sino ngayon ang may responsibilidad? Pagcor, Mr. Chair. So anong dapat na anong dapat uh, gawin namin sa Pagcor because of this? 
I think, sir, there should just be, uh, there should be, uh, we should, we should be the one to improve our regulations as well as our monitoring. Uh, gaya nga po ng uh, nasabi ng mga kasama natin dito, nung nangyari pong event ito, or even before so this line, happens. Bottom line, Mr. Attorney, you can give us a million and one reasons. Bottom line, PAGCOR is corrupt. Nakorrupt kayo. Hindi nyo ginagawa yung trabaho ninyo. Pinikit nyo yung mata ninyo. Pinikit nyo yung inspectors, ng mata ng mga inspectors ninyo. Hindi nyo sila pinakomply. Ang tanong, bakit treat them with special... Why is it being given a special treatment? 2019, it's already four years. Actually, sir, hindi naman po... 2019 nagsimula ang kanilang operations. So Whatever, whether is... it's 2019, it's one year, twice a week kayo nag inspect Twice a week niyo alam walang enforce, law enforcement agencies dyan. Twice a week kayong pumupunta dyan physically. And you tell me, you didn't see 1,160 plus different nationalities being trafficked in that area? Ang tanong ko sa inyo, with this incident, is the Pogo Hub still a viable option? Ano ko sa'yo, attorney? I think, Mr. Chair, it will only be viable if the government agencies and law enforcement agencies will yeah, be there. When PAGCOR is corrupt, do you still think that the Pogo Hub concept will be effective for the country? Yes, Mr. Chair, as long as the regulations will be properly yeah, enforced but inside. Regulation, eh. We will enforce, Mr. Chair. After nangyari na ito, alam, alam nyo, to be honest about it, this brings international shame to us. The Philippines is becoming a scam hub, hindi Pogo hub, hub a scam hub. Pogo being used as front for scams. Pogo's being used as front for human trafficking. Because Pagor is corrupt and not doing its job. That's the bottom line. Pinagloloko nyo kami. Imposible. If twice a week in inspection ninyo, imposible ang hindi nyo makikita yan. Just put PNP and BI dyan. Wala na tayong problema ngayon. Why take four years of inaction? That's why I don't believe in this. Kahit anong sabihin ninyo, if you are corrupt, Kahit Pogo Hub pa yan, or whatever concept you, you want to develop, it's not going to work because PAGCOR is corrupt. Ang nanggaling sa'yo ni information, I don't have any previous information. All of that came from you. In twice a week, in regulation, in inspection. It's not, hindi ka manggaling sa akin yan, galing sa inyo lahat yan. In any case, ma Madam Chair, uh, uh, Pagcor, please submit to us all the documents regarding Pogo Hubs, your regulation, uh, all the inspection reports. Submit to us so we can analyze that.